Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Private Selection Deep Dish Cookies. Uh, these were uh, available at Kroger. They were $4.99 each. Private Selection is a Kroger brand. They had the chocolate and salted caramel and the chocolate chunk. They may make other varieties. I don't know. Our Kroger only had these two. Uh, let's see what you do with them. You can preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Remove deep dish cookie from freezer and remove tray from carton. Remove clear plastic wrap. Place on a cookie sheet. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until cookie dough is golden brown and set. Let it cool for five minutes and top with ice cream if desired and serve. So I was going to talk about each one of them, but I'll wait. I'll wait to do that and, um, when we review them, when we actually uh, take them out and eat them. That way I don't have to go over what's in them twice and we can talk about calories and things like that so it looks like a a big round slab of cookie dough and this one will be easy to tell from the other one because it has that salt all over the top of it now you can see the salt and then the chocolate chunk uh, does not have any of that salt it's just plain cookie dough so I'm going to put both of these in the oven. I'm going to set my timer for 33 minutes right in the middle and we'll be back. Well, we're going to try the chocolate chunk first. Uh, these, we ended up leaving these in for the full time for 35 minutes. Normally we try to go, it said between 30 and 35. Normally we'd, we would go on the lower side. For these, we left the full time uh, because we tried to take, you might be able to see the line down the middle of this. We tried to take it out earlier and cut into it and it was absolutely, a, it was still a gooey mess in the middle. So we put it back in the uh, oven for an additional five minutes. Yeah, so, so it actually went over the 35 minutes. Yeah, like, probably went, minutes. yeah, but yeah. It, it needed it. Yeah, it was like gooey in the middle. Yes, it was completely raw. Uh, so this is a private selection chocolate chunk deep dish cookie bakes up rich gooey and deliciously indulgent we've combined a buttery dough with decadent chocolate chunks to create a mouth-watering dessert that is perfect served fresh out of the oven for some extra fun try it with peanut butter ice cream <laughs> you have to add some more calories add more calories to it there are 14 servings yeah i don't know how you're going to cut that into half 14 servings. seven more slices per half i mean that's that'd be I don't see more that slices a fort one fourteenth cookie 28 grams is 120 calories it's definitely not as small as the that picture they're showing in the front is a lot bigger than a seventh that's yeah for sure. yeah that uh, <laughs> yeah absolutely that is misleading okay so let's see it still is gooey i will tell yeah, you that it's not as, it was like runny though before i'm gonna have to use a um a fork okay. yeah go ahead i'm gonna use a fork to get this one out the first one's always the ugly piece anyway yeah at least it's holding together now before gonna, the first time we tried to take it out it was literally like hand me your fork raw, raw. so i'm gonna st i'll put your caramel piece on the other side of your plate when we uh, when we cut it is that okay yeah, i don't care okay okay it still isn't coming out great but that um so what do you I wonder i don't know you wouldn't want to cook it much longer that was two oh, three yeah. four I can only see that getting in eight, eight pieces. pieces and tiny. eight pieces is going to be teensy weensy. Look at that. The very tiny. Very very tiny. You're better off getting two Oreos. So <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't I don't know how they expect you to get. Yeah, that's just 14, how they divided it up. Fourteen servings. That is crazy yeah. to me. I think they wanted you to glance at the box and see. Oh, 120 calories. Mm-hmm. No. No way. Didn't work that way. So this is still very gooey. It's cooked though. Mm hmm. It's just one of those really wow. soft cookies. That, um. I love it. I love the edges too, the little crisp piece on the edge. I don't know if you can see that gooey chocolate right there. Mm. It's good. That is delicious. Mm hmm. Absolutely. It tastes like, um, 
a fresh baked chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. that you've put in the oven and it's come out gooey. Um, that is delicious. It is good. Mm-hmm. I love that. I could take another bite, but I'll wait. Just know, if it came out like ours, you'll, you'll probably want to leave it in the full time. Yes. And it's still going to be, it's not raw, but it's very, very sticky. It is. It's gooey. Okay, so this is the... It's almost raw, but not quite. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a rich, buttery dough with chocolate chunks, caramel pieces, and a touch of salt. We've combined a buttery dough with chocolate chunks, caramel pieces, and a touch of salt to create a mouth-watering dessert. Same thing. For some extra fun, try it with vanilla ice cream with caramel drizzle. Mm. Did this one say any drizzle? No, this one's just a peanut butter. Okay, so this, same thing. Yeah. One fourteenth, 29 grams is 120 calories. So, I'm just going to cut it like I cut the, the last one. And this one, it had um, visible like sea salt. salt on the top. Okay. I'm gonna try these There we go. Oh, it came out pretty decent. That came out better than the first one. No. Okay, let me see. So that means the second one should definitely. It still is very, very, very gooey in the in mm -hmm. the center. Yeah. Like I said, it's almost the point where it's almost raw. Yeah, it, it really is. I don't know what else you could do. You couldn't put it in there much longer. No. It would be, uh, it'd burn it. This one, um, you immediately taste caramel. Yeah, like the instant you eat it. Mm-hmm. It is like thick, it's sticky. <laughs> sticky, gooey. But if you were to look at this in the pan, well, I'll take a picture. You're going to see in the picture, that middle part looks completely raw. You would say that was raw, uncooked dough. It is delicious, but they I don't... They don't bake quite right. I, yeah, I don't know. The only other thing I can think of doing is once they turn this dark... Put some uh, Reynolds wrap over the top of them, and some aluminum foil, and put them back in the oven. Um, and I still don't know that that would do it. You're, I think you're going to be surprised when you see how yeah. raw looking this is. Yeah, cause, I mean, we're following the directions, though, just yes. word for word. Yes. And it just... Um, hmm. But I like them. Yeah, I wonder if you, were, if you thawed them first, if they would have made any difference. I wouldn't. I mean, I'd be afraid to. I know. I'm just saying, I wonder if that would have made them cook a little easier or a uh, little more even. I don't know. They pretty much are raw in the middle, though. Just And that's yeah. not a fault of ours. That's yeah. just how they are. They're just raw. Um, mm -hmm. They're still really good. Still, yeah. I mean, if you like if you like mushy, mushy, mushy cookies right out of the oven, that's what this is like. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it's, it's just run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe if it cooled completely, it might thicken up a bit, but it's still not going to ever be 100%. What did you think of the flavor of the caramel one? I like the caramel one. I, I didn't really get any salt. I know there was some salt on the top. I really didn't get the flavor of the salt. I didn't but, get salt. But it has no. an okay caramel flavor. I like the chocolate one better. I do too. That's but, what I was wondering. But if you like a caramel and you don't really care for chocolate, you can get the caramel. I think you're safe. Yeah, the caramel's not bad. The caramel, for me, the caramel... Um, it was just, yeah, it was okay. It, it was okay. It, I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. It just, um, it was. It wasn't, I guess, as sweet as yeah, I would have liked it to be. it as good as the chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate one is just so over-the-top, delicious, ooey-gooey chocolate that the, the caramel's just no comparison mm -hmm. at all. I agree. So, if you only have $5 to buy one, I would buy the chocolate chunk. Um, and you know, if you try different things as far as uh, baking times and stuff, yeah, you get it to work. Yeah. You can let us know in the comments. I always try to follow the directions, uh, completely. And it says like cool five minutes. Um, they probably set for 10 minutes. They probably set for 10 minutes because I was hoping that the longer it would sit, the more it would firm up mm -hmm. and it just did not happen. Um, so in the, the, but the chocolate does seem to be 
far more, more yeah. than the caramel. I Caramel's agree. just extra right. For five dollars, I mean, I think these are good. I think I love the idea of them. Mm -hmm. The execution for the baking is a little off though, so I think I personally, I'd recommend you just get the chunk cookies in the just tube. Just buy the tube and or not the pre, buy these at the all. The pre-cut like packages, you just take yeah. them out and stick them on the baking sheet and bake them. Yeah. Um, you still get a, that warm chocolate chip cookie flavor, and they're real, still really good. Yeah. Um, but if you're really looking for this kind of thing, I don't know. I just. And as much as I, I love the flavor of this, mm -hmm. um, to get 28 grams, to try to get 14 pieces out of this, I would think would be almost impossible. I mean, yeah, you're talking about a sliver of a sliver. Yeah, a, a sliver. Yeah, it, it's just, that is a ridiculous portion size. Um, I just don't see it happening at all. Um, you're going to buy this and you're going to want to eat. Um, a fourth of it. Or yeah. an eighth of it. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So, I will have that picture for you all at the end so you can see how gooey it is. Uh, but if you buy one, I would still buy this one. Or like Kevin said, just buy the tube. So, I hope this helps you out and thanks for watching.